want to come forward. Okay guys, so the prologue is uh, just starting and uh, just reiterating, it's uh, a fun event, there's no time pressure to such. Matt Green is going to be leading, the guys are going out uh, one minute apart, Yeah, it's just uh, a fun, uh, leisurely prologue type event this is, and uh, I'm going to try and get out on track and follow some of the guys a little bit, we'll see how it works out. So we've just got Rob Parry going next now. Just uh, correction on the, the, the distance Three, or times. It's 30 two, seconds between each rider. Place where I can pull in. Kind of stay out of there, dust. single track is this okay I think we'll just wait here a second Is, uh, quite a steep climb is this, so we're going to get, I don't want to get sucked into summer. Could be wrong, but I think that could be uh -huh. going scary up there, the top rider, or the, uh, the, the blue, uh, dusting dens down there. This is a really loose, tricky climb. I'm just watching these guys now. There's no point in me really going down there because I'm not probably not going to get, be able to get the guys to go down there there's no point in me really going into that because I'll probably get stuck somewhere and hung up it's just delaying time I need to be somewhere else on the course but uh, yeah this is the difficult one and I think they are looking for ways round now it's really loose. What I'm going to do now is start navigating round to the top get some footage from the top. My navigation route now and this is a fucking pigil. I'll try down here. Yeah. Go 
good thing about Portugal is there's always a way around. There's always a little, a little route or something, a little cut through. Well, we made it to the top now. We made a bit of a shortcut there. Just with John Hurst. John, quickly. Yeah. Bit of a tough climb here. Oh, yes. Very tough. <laughs> but you've made Very it up. That's fun. the main thing. Oh, it, did you get it up clean? Uh, bit, 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 a, bit, a few dabs. Bit of buffering. A few dabs, yeah. <laughs> well done, mate. I'll let you get on. Cheers. Cheers, bud. The hard enduro element is striking. I think the guys are expecting anything like this. dust I'm not sure if you can see clearly but where my finger is they're all sort of gathering on the hill there and just looking at it and just mulling it over thinking about it watching the lines and then we've got a group just sat down here <laughs> just with Grant Galenda got Grant yes bit of a struggle up there mate eh, not too bad that yeah I the, last, the last little bit, just you just yeah. tipped it, didn't you? But it was a bit of uh, Lucas, you know, Lucas the Polish, yeah, the Polish guy. Yeah, he stuck at the three quarters of the way up, so I had to stop behind him. It was only one route, <laughs> but a tough climb, really. Yeah. I bet the guys weren't expecting something like this first off, no, were they? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Okay, didn't get that on video. I've just come down that climb there, that hill. Man, that is sketchy. That is really sketchy. I was gonna wait for some day. Easy. Oh, straight down there. Well done. Uh, on there, I think. Have a, have a. That's giving me which direction. I think it's that direction. So we just made it to the next sort of hill climb. You going up to help? Yeah. And these guys are having a bit of a meltdown at the moment. Lucas? I think it's not for me yet, but I love it anyway. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
some of the guys are just uh, backing out of that one, I don't blame them to be honest. They navigate round. Yeah, it's down here. Down here and then goes left. Does it? Yeah. So you have to go in all the way down and across. It goes left. And then somewhere. You crack on. Sorry. Are you going? Yeah, you carry on, I'll carry on, Colin Gig down. Alright. So a little bit of carnage so far, I'm on the top of a, a hill now, just overlooking sort of Porto in the distance there, it's absolutely beautiful, just keeping my head covered up because I don't want to fry, just waiting for some more riders to come. and follow a couple of guys now as you can appreciate a lot of these guys are quite spread out so oh. well, mate, are you waiting are you waiting for that lot uh mark and sammy have dropped off carry on then i'll follow you oh, we're just moving on now we're just tagging on the back of the northeast crew frank Linda, gavin larkin and his mates Keep it out of the dust, I'm trying to. Oh, not a steep descent this, the track, really good for like seat to sky training. Yeah, I think it's going to seat to sky, fortunately, probably one of the places to come for the dry. Rocky tracks. There's so much score for you. Quite a technical track, this. I can stay with these boys.
you're following people, you get held up and say stop. Loads of grip though. Come on buddy. Lost my foot in there. Just so settled. Might try the alternative actually. Up there. He lost his airbox cover. I think I've lost everything. <laughs> Even my virginity. <laughs> Carnage, Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it. Keep it going, that's it, well done, well done. Stragglers by the wayside here. Well done, guys. See you back there. Do a little steps here. Trails everywhere. Yes, 
is going to up a nice little climb here. forgotten how good this event is you know you could be riding Red Bull Romaniacs doing this it's happening guys that looks like a steep climb I'm going to go into the bottom and have a look Before I stopped, uh, you, know, you could be anywhere in the world riding here. You get a real sense of adventure. And yeah, it's a fun event, there's no time pressures, which makes it sometimes even better. And you know, you could be, you could be, uh, you know, I've been here before actually, need to go down there. You could be in Romania doing Red Bull Romaniacs, anything like that, any of these sort of GPS guided events. the hole. Right. Now it'll do nicely. Yeah, I see you get a real sense of adventure. And we're just coming back down towards Park Firm now. It's uh, 20. 20, yeah. You're right. Yeah, fantastic. Good. There's your BS. No, 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 yeah, no, no, for me, no, no, it's okay. Uh, brilliant. Oh. Right, guys, the fly's just buzzing off there. I'm back from uh, my ride around the prologue. Fantastic. Like I said on the GoPro, you could be anywhere in the world, the adventure, uh, just you get in that zone, you're riding your bike, following your GPS. You could be absolutely anywhere, it doesn't matter. The, the glorious weather, the tracks are fantastic, it's ace. Just going to have a quick word with a few guys now and just get their thoughts on the prologue today. That is Keith Jenkins, Sam Cave and uh, Martin Jakeman. Let's go. Guys. That two hours sleep won't be enough. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Have you had a good time out there? Now, before we start asking lie? questions, <laughs> Martin, <laughs> Keith, Sam. Sam and Keith, you've both been at Madron before. Yep. Yeah, four years ago now, isn't it? Yep. And uh, is it showing to be as good as the last one from what you've seen so far? Yeah, it seems much the same. Yeah, same sort of format. Great, uh, great going, really grippy. Um, yeah, just, yeah, the great day today again. So, uh, yeah. yeah, hopefully and the next three days. And just to reiter reiterate to people back, back at home, it is a fun event, isn't it? And it's great, yeah, no pressure. When, when you're out there, you can yeah, just immerse yourself difference. in that zone mm, and you could yeah. be anywhere. Mm, yeah. Sam? 
Yeah, same really. Yeah, no pressure. Just have a good, nice time. Not, not yeah. riding your bike, innit? Not racing. Just messing around. Yeah, riding with your mates and yeah. just getting into the, the flow of things. Mm. Martin, I've got tell me about your experience on the it. hill. <laughs> 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 You've got no, your breath so back yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I saw you on the hillside there having, yeah. a, having a right meltdown. That was a tough climb, that. I had a little paddy um, <laughs> yeah, and chickened out. So, uh, but like, there's all the routes available. So, yeah, fair play. Uh, that's a cheap little bit. But don't tell anyone. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah, it's all good though, isn't it? It's it is good. good. Like, uh, the main thing is, like you say, if you want five minutes, you can. Yeah. Breathe, breathe. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Bye, buddy. See you tomorrow, okay? W. So Cheers. that is day one over and done with. The prologue's out of the way. I think most riders are back now. You know, get some feedback there from Keith, Martin, and uh, Sam. Really pleased. And I think that is a general consensus. Everyone enjoyed it. They didn't expect it to be as hard as it was. But then again, you know, like I said to some of the other guys out there. Oh, yeah, you're right. All right, Justin. The, uh, yeah, there's always an option to take a, a bit of a detour. And, you know, it's not an official race, is it? It's a fun event. People want to come and challenge themselves. That's, that's great. They can do that. But the lesser riders want to push themselves a little bit. And when they get to something really hard, what's beyond them, there is always a way around, of, you know, of getting to where they need to be and getting back on track. So, hope you enjoyed that. Bit of raw footage there from the uh, the start and my GoPro as well. Uh, <laughs> it's been a busy day. Back tomorrow, guys. Madron XL 2023 in Porto. Day one off-road. See you soon.